I want to do some performance testing of bun versus node, but uh, I haven't tried bun yet. So I want to try it. If I search for bun, I get blood urea nitrogen test Mayo Clinic. Well, that's not it. Buns and rice, no. Ah, bun.sh. They really should have picked a different name, but ah, whatever. You can install it just as easily as that. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna install it. I always run things that I find on the internet. Make directory bun, cd bun. All right, let's uh, run the installer. That's it. And it added bun to the path in my zshrfs file. Good. I really hate saying Z shell RC, Z shell RC. Really wish there was a quicker way to say that. I don't think mine worked so well. Anyway, what do I do now? Bun dash dash version, bun not found. Okay, I need to restart my terminal. Bun dash dash version. There we go. Dot one dot 11. Bun dash dash help. Look at all this. Start a bun dev server. Bun init will start a new project. That's what I want to do. I can create a bun project from a template. That I'd rather do that. I'd rather use a template. Let's do um, bun create uh, my bun app one. No. That didn't work. Let's do this. I probably should read the documentation, huh? But who who wants to read documentation? This is more fun. CD my bun app one. So far so good. Wait, what was the second command? Crap. Oh, here it is. Bun dev. Let's open this up in VS Code and have a look. I'm supposed to be using Vim. I just want to see the whole thing, okay? All right, here we go. We got a package.json. Cool, cool. We have React in there already and TypeScript. Very nice that it defaults to TypeScript. I like that. And there's, wait, why do we have JSX files in there if we have TypeScript? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. It installed TypeScript, but it didn't actually create a TS config file. So it's not on by default. Ah, pfft, I don't know why. <laughs> Whatever, okay, so the package.json says we have, we don't have scripts here either. Bun dev, there we go. And localhost 3000. So there's our React app and it's running under bun, I guess. Why would I do this? Now bun is supposed to replace node, right? It's a node replacement for the backend. And when you create a React app using create React app, for example, you already have a server that comes with it, a light server. What's the benefit of me using bun here to serve that up? Maybe it's faster updates? Let's see. Learn React, ah, F1, reload window. Okay, learn React 18, back to normal. Boom, that was, wow. That was really fast. That is really fast. That's like instant, holy moly. But is that that much faster than using create react app, for example? Should we try it? Okay, so here's a react app created using a uh, create react app. And this one actually, when you use the TypeScript template, it actually creates a TypeScript react app. <laughs> NPM run start. So there's our dev server, and this is the one that comes with create react app. I'm not 100% sure which one it uses, but let's make a change here and see how quickly that updates. Learn react 18. I can tell you that it's even noticeable. I mean, neither one of them is slow. They're both quick, fast enough. Although when you have a really big project, it might really be noticeable. Don't know yet. However, I do notice a difference. I notice a pretty substantial difference here. So when I save with create react app, there is a little bit of a delay between when I press save and when it, the changes show up in the browser. Now I have to run the other one again, just to make sure I'm not crazy. So I'm gonna go to bun and then do uh, bun dev, I think that was. Yeah, now I'm gonna make a change here. Oh, that didn't work. That's not even updating. All right, empty cache, reload. What the heck? Bun. Help, bun dev, localhost 3000, there it is. I even empty cache and hard reload and this is still not the right link. Learn React SDF, Learn React 18, it's not updating anymore. What the heck? Let's open up uh, Safari and see if something's going on, something wacky. So there's something wacky going on and it's caching something somewhere. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's VS Code. Let's reopen that. Ah, uh, I think it was something with VS Code. So bun dev 3000, there it is. 
and there it is okay all right so yeah this is clearly a lot faster but there is one more thing well it's not one more thing there's a thing that i talked about the difference is not just bun versus whatever create react app was using typescript so there is a transpilation step where this one it's supposed to be typescript but it's not so to be fair let's go back to our typescript app and i'm gonna blow it away and I just want to visually compare a JavaScript versus JavaScript app. So npx create react app my react app one. And this is going to be just JavaScript, not using a TypeScript template. So I want to see if this is going to be just as fast as the bun version. The bun version is instant. Like as soon as I press save, it just boom, it's there. npm start. No, let's open this up in VS Code first so I can edit it. And then npm start. Okay, source app.js and learn react 18 boom there is a delay yep whatever is using under the hood it's not as fast as bun what have we learned we learned that scaffolding a react app with bun does not actually create a typescript react app like I asked. And the React app created with Bun, served with Bun, seems to be much faster at watching the changes and reflecting the changes in the browser. So that's nice. It's very nice. But I still gotta fire something at it, measure the requests per second. I'm gonna set up a backend Bun server once I figure out how to do that, set up a Node Express app and use AutoCannon to um, shoot it down and see which one is faster that way. Um, that's coming up soon. Subscribe for that video. I'll see you all later.